hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna go into the question of whether or not you should manifest a new person into your life or manifest a specific person back into your life. So maybe an ex or another specific person that you know. Um, I'm gonna do this video because I have received this question in my comments. It's also something that I have personally contemplated as well. And so I will probably share a little bit about my own personal experience thinking about this question and, and what I've decided to do in my own life. Before I jump into the video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you. And also know that I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. There's a link for my sessions below in the description. I'll also put it up there. And there's links to my self-study manifesting courses below. One of the courses is how to manifest love. Okay, so let's jump in. Should you manifest a specific person or a new person, essentially is the question. So of course, this is going to be very personalized to you. <laughs> like whatever, you know, you, you're the only one who can make that decision. However, I do think that there is, um, there's certain aspects of this for, for you to potentially contemplate. The biggest aspect or the biggest difference I see in manifesting a specific person versus a new person is with a specific person, whether or not it's your ex or not, someone that you already know, what poses some some challenges to manifesting that specific person is you already have preconceived ideas about them. You probably have a history with that person and you have beliefs about that person. And when we have beliefs about a person or about a place or a thing, when we have beliefs about anything, any beliefs eventually harden into fact right? This is what Neville taught is like your assumptions about what something is will harden into a fact about what that thing is or who that person is. And this is why people can struggle with manifesting a specific person. It's because you have particular beliefs about who that person is. And if some of those beliefs are that person rejected me, that person doesn't love me, he and I struggle for these reasons. If any of those beliefs are bad, we can say, or negative, or not in alignment with what you want relationally, it can make manifesting that person challenging. So essentially what I'm saying is, if you think someone doesn't wanna be with you, and you have had, you've manifested them to be that way, either they've rejected you or they don't want to be with you, you are now contending with beliefs that you have created and you have to recreate those beliefs to get a new life experience. So again, we're manifesting everything in our lives. We're manifesting them from our inner belief system. What you believe is true will become true. And so if you have any beliefs that are keeping you out of a, re a relationship with someone, um, you have to change those beliefs to manifest that person into your life. You have to change the beliefs into that person does wanna be with me. And you have to fully let go of the beliefs of that person doesn't wanna be with me. Okay, so this is the challenge of manifesting a specific person. When it comes to manifesting a new person, the benefit as I see it is it's a total fresh start. There are no preconceived, preconceived beliefs about a specific person when they're not specific, right? If someone is new, you get a blank, blank, blank canvas. The only beliefs that you potentially will project onto that person's person is the beliefs, you, your general beliefs about relationships that you don't clean up, right? So if you have general beliefs of uh, people always leave me, I'm never chosen, um, no one wants me, whatever it might be. If you have some general beliefs that are make relationships challenging for you, you could potentially project those onto the new person. 
However, if you clean those beliefs up and you start living in the end result of being in this new relationship that feels a very particular way, and this is a fresh person, so they're not mad at you, they didn't have never rejected you, you haven't had any fights, you haven't had any problems, the new person is a total fresh slate, which then allows for manifesting that person to be easier, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. Um, I'm about to create two new courses and one of the courses is going to be how to manifest a new person and how to manifest a specific person. And for the course of how to manifest a new person, I'm going to say in 30 days or less. For the specific person, I'm not going to say in 30 days or less. And the reason is what I'm speaking to is for a new person, when you have a blank clean slate, it is it's easy like it, it's easy to manifest that person in if you fully commit yourself to the process it's easy to manifest a new person into your life there are no preconceived ideas so you have a fresh clean slate to just totally manifest like just really focus in on what you want to create and you can create it easily with a specific person you're going to be contending with some of your older beliefs that could take more time it doesn't have to but it could Okay, so this is just my opinion about this. And for myself, yes, I've had to contend with this question as well in my own life not so long ago. Um, I had an ex that he and I have gone through many cycles of breaking up and getting back together. And again, we had split. And I had to think to myself if I wanted to manifest him specifically back. Um, part of why I potentially wanted to was because we have a very deep, very loving connection and that was very precious to me. However, we have a history <laughs> and I haven't been happy in the relationship in the history. And I have a lot of preconceived ideas about who he is as a person and as a partner and there are a lot of uh, ideas or beliefs mixed in there of things that I didn't like and I knew that to unravel and fully recreate him as a person it was going to be a lot of work I didn't want to do that luckily I have manifested I say it this way and it sounds funny but I have manifested many men into my life and I've manifested love into my life more than once so I feel really really confident in doing that and so in this circumstance, I chose to manifest someone new. That new person came in very fast and he is a fresh, he's a fresh clean slate. And so um, I'm happy with my decision to have done that because yeah, now I get to, con now I get to like really be creating him as as we're moving into whatever we're moving into, I'm not gonna give a lot of details, but now I get to like really focus on this relationship and create him exactly as I want as we move into it. And so far, he has, a. there's just not a lot for me to have to recreate, basically is what I'm saying, because I did a really good job in manifesting him, and so the complete package came in, and I'm like, cool, this is what I want, and, um, so that is how, that was my decision at this point, or at that point. And you know, everyone's gonna make their own decision about this. I do understand the desire to be with a specific person. At times in my life, it has been very important for me to revisit a relationship with a specific person, with an ex. I've done that more than once, and I understand that decision. So. You just have to decide what's best for you and I know you'll make the right decision. All right, thank you so much for being here with me. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you are deciding to do. Are you manifesting a specific person or are you manifesting someone new? Why are you making that decision? I would love to hear and I will see you very soon. Bye.